Hi guys, Scott Maple here, Crop Circle. I thought I would put together a video tutorial for those of you who may have messed up your Cylon preset buttons on the voice emulation package that we have provided you for the Cylon costumes that we offer. And I'm happy to show you how I have uh, experimented in order to get the best settings that I think have uh, achieved the voice of the Cylon for this costume. So what we have here is the uh, the Roland VT4 voice transformer, which is the console portion that does all the processing in real time of your voice to change. And this is our amplifier, which has an onboard MP3 player to play back the iWarble sound effect that we have located on a micro SD card on the side here. Now there are separate controls for it. I'm gonna show you how to work them. By default, the sound will come on like this, but for the purpose of this setup, I'm going to turn that off. So I just hit pause on the MP3 player controls, which controls the files that are on there. So I'm gonna plug in all of our cables and show you how to do that. The 3.5 millimeter jack that we have goes into the mic here. And on the bottom of the console, this goes to the phones port. I'm going to turn that away because I really want to avoid any kind of feedback. I have to hear the sound when it comes out, but I don't want to split my ears in the process. And here's the studio headset microphone that comes with the console. And I want to point out a feature here. If I remove the shield, you'll see that there is a microphone that has a flat edge on it. And you want to speak into this, this portion of it. So if you can, you may have to take that off, it's easy to put back on, but I usually have this about an inch away from my mouth when it's inside the helmet, and there's not a lot of space for that to be provided anyway, so it's best if you adjust your microphone sensitivity settings once you've got it in the same distance. Um, you should actually be kind of whispering instead of speaking at full volume into it because you don't want to overhear your own voice over the voice emulation that's coming out of your backpack. And it's not very difficult to do that. It's just, this is a technique that I found works best when you're trying to work the Cylon voice. So I'm gonna plug this microphone in to the mic in section. And now I've got to be careful as to not create feedback. So I'm gonna find volume and sensitivity settings on the console here to match so that I can do this for the purpose of demonstration. Start with your Turning it on, there's a power switch up here. Now we're on. And the manual light comes on. Okay. Oh, my OCD is going to kick in here, and this has to be perfectly straight. There we go. Check, check, check. We have no volume, so I'm going to adjust that volume. Check, check. Volume won't work without sensitivity, so I have to adjust the sensitivity of the microphone. Check, check, check. I'm trying to find that sweet spot. There should be a sweet spot right there where I can find the volume on this is enough that I can hear it. And that peak light isn't going off constantly because it will just be a problem. I'm going to turn up that volume a bit. Check, 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 check. There we go. I have all the sliders in one position right now. And I'm going to show you the settings that I've got. So we're on manual. I'm going to hit robot. And I'm also gonna hit vocoder. Those two buttons are set. I want very little reverb on this, so I'm gonna turn up the reverb just a tinch, perhaps to the second notch. You don't wanna have too much of that because it sounds like you're running a monster truck rally otherwise, and we don't need that coming out of your unit. But the balance button, we're gonna go for full effect, okay? I'm also gonna hit these sliders and put them right into the middle. I have key A is the best setting that I found. It just has the best uh, amount of um, tone that you want to have to emulate that Cylon effect. So now that I've got the sliders in position, I'm going to actually turn it off and on again.
robot vocoder. Now the reason I did that is because when you turn off the unit, it will remember the location of the sliders when you turn it on, so I just reset it. This just gives me the optimal way to control the format and the pitch when coming out of uh, the console. So I'm going to experiment with this first is to come up with my first preset. Check, 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 one, two, three. I'm going to reduce the format here. Check, 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 one, two, three. Just bringing it down just enough to listen. And fairly soon, I will be able to get the Cylon sound effect that I want. Check, check, check. I'm going to bring down slightly the pitch. Pitch, pitch. I put that shield back on to the microphone. So, if I want to stick with this particular sound effect, I'm going to mark these onto the first position. So, like an old car radio, all I have to do is hold down the button until it flashes, and now it's committed to position number one. So, now I want to add a second voice, slightly deeper perhaps. Check, check, check. So, I'm going to bring down the pitch. Bring down the pitch. I like that sound better. That sounds better to me. I will commit this to position number two in here. Holding the button, button number two. That second voice is now set to position number two. Number two, number one, number two. Now, I can do this with up to four positions on air. Actually, if I shift, there is a way to do it to have eight presets reserved. And anybody that has uh, a want, you can write to me and I'll send you the PDF instruction manual for how to do the shift. But those two positions now, I want to point this out. I know a lot of people talk about hitting the knobs or they, they bumped into them and then they lose all of their settings, which is true. You can do that. But I move all of the sliders up to the top and regardless of where these positioned the, these are positioned for your day if I hit any of these buttons it will bring back the same it brings back the same settings that you had allocated to the preset button at any moment regardless of where the sliders or knobs are with the exception of your volume and uh, microphone sensitivity so as long as you've got access to these buttons, you can bring back all of your original settings. Any adjustments that you make at this point, like if I move this, they will change that preset. But if I go back and hit it again with a single quick press, I can bring it back up. I hope that helps, and thanks for being here.